Hi! Looks like everything's working today. That is awesome. It's Monday. I'm here. I got my controller in my hand. Can't see it. But it's in my hand. And I am in Skyhold. As you can see. It's a beautiful day out here in Skyhold. Very snowy, very cold. High up in the mountains. As far as I can see. Last week I did basically everything else. I just got a couple minor things to do I can do later. Just to finish up things. But yeah. We're here. And we're about... To uh, continue with the main storyline after, or, you know, for the first time since uh, November of last year. Yeah, I actually looked to see when I last posted the one that has a storyline title, and that was la last year. So, yeah. I've been doing stuff that's not storyline related for a couple months now. Kind of funky. And not funky in a good way. So I'm ready for what ha Pride had wrought. And oh, look at this too. Everything is working perfectly today so far. I'm on stream. I'm streaming. Everything's moving right. So, got to go to the war room. Though, if I had done things right, um... Gaspard's sister would be right there in a desert costume. But no, I chose the wrong dialogue option. No, I don't think I'm muted. Um, Dropbox here. Let me Dropbox before I forget. Because I got to remember to take screenshots. And uh, it automatically clicks on my Dropbox. And yeah. I got other stuff running I have to have up. So. Um, Unfortunately, it's going to be a little laggy. So how's everybody's weekend? Mine was okay. Had people over Saturday night, um, my gaming group, but we didn't game. We kind of goofed around in um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet a little bit and talked and had soup. Had homemade chicken dumpling soup. And a chair broke. And that wasn't fun. But it wasn't my chair, so at least I didn't fall on my butt. And nobody actually fell on the butt. I'm just going to see what we got. Have you had any trouble with them? Not at all. I will inform you if that changes. I really should turn the graphics down or something. You know what? I'm going to do that. I do not want the lag. So I'm going to turn that down. I have, like I said, other things running right now because I want to have things that I need up. Totally not stuff that I need to do to complete quests and stuff. Because I'm totally good at this job. And I might have to restart, so. I'm just taking a look and seeing... Hmm. 
I'm going to keep that. Okay, I'll leave it there. I'm going to turn the... There we go. I'm just going to restart the game here. So. I hope you don't mind. I just got to restart the game. It'll only take me a couple minutes probably. But yeah, my weekend was pretty good. Nice having the gaming crew over for at least a little bit last week. One of them was we, they had to go early because they had to go do some shopping. And um, one of them was falling asleep. H hadn't really slept the night before, so. <clears throat> being, <sighs> being adults sucks sometimes. I mean, it does. Honestly, it does. I'm just gonna adjust my camera so I sit better. Do -do -do. Now I'm just waiting for the game to exit. Hopefully, next week we'll be able to start the campaign. I can't remember to get the um get Finster's book. This Mastermatic cookbook. I'll see if I can find some coupon codes and save some money. Yeah. But otherwise, my weekend's been... It was fine. It wasn't anything, you know, great. But it wasn't anything, you know, horrible either. It was, it was fine. I've had better weekends. I've had worse weekends. Nothing special about this weekend. I mean, the good news was uh, I didn't have to go into Walmart this weekend for grocery shopping. And that's always a good sign because Walmart so sucks my soul out through my nose. And that's very painful. And they're changing our Walmart up here, so... You know, changing, you know, locations and stuff and changing things around. And it's just feeling off in there at the moment. So between, you know, soul sucking and everything else. I mean, it's just not right. Game's loading right now. I got Bioware sync thing up right now. And I'm, I, I figured out what I'm going to do with The Sims this week, so. I'm going to be playing The Sims instead of Pokemon. Got to take a couple weeks off of Pokemon. Then I'm going to do Legends Arceus. I could do a Pokemon fan game, but... I don't really want to do that right now. Okay. Game is now loading. And I got my whole, um... Keypad rig set up too properly. Now this week's only going to be just this, um... Dragon Age and Sims 4. Because of my cough, I wanted to take a couple weeks off the hand cam to be on the safe side, and... <clears throat> this is the second week off from the hand cam. And I still got a bit of a cough. But... 
the good news is uh, it's dying down. Now it's more dry throat cough because it's so dry out. Not everything else that was going on. Okay. Hopefully this works better. Maybe. Maybe. Still seems to be going a little slow. A little laggy, but I'm not going to turn it down anymore. I'll survive. Six. I'm. I'm at max level, and I can't do. And I can't get the frosty mod manager to work. So, I think I can handle sixteen to nineteen. The Inquisition is now a force to be reckoned with. Call its allies to rally their soldiers and march with the Inqu Inquisitor Lavellan's army into the Arbor Wilds, where they will face Corypheus's zealots one final time. The Inquisition must stop Corypheus before the Darkspawn Magister finds a long lost elven artifact in the wilds. That allows him to enter the Fade physically and claim its power. He's looking for an Alluvion, according to Morrigan. With an Alluvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed. The Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, and this is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. Well, we can't have that now, can we? In Redcliffe, I saw the future Corypheus built. We can't let that happen. It was always so, was it not? Oh yeah, I sat in with the Matrix. Madman would bury us all. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Yes, uh, good idea. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers, you'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? Well, um, we take a breath for a start, I think. For starters, we don't let Corypheus worry us to death. Imagine how embarrassing that would be. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Liliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus' army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> <clears throat> Such confidence, but the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. Please lend us your expertise. She ain't no lady. That's why I came here, although it is good to see its value recognized. Please, awesome. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? Well. We've embarked on a quest that ends in facing the most powerful monster in all Thetis. Inspiring speech time. Do get a good night's sleep. As you wish. Well, I've got to be well rested. Found Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvian. Yes. As if you don't know what an Illuvian is, Liliana. I mean, you worked with the warden. Who, if I remember correctly, was tainted by an alluvion. On, on. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go into a cutscene. Okay. I'm going to take Dorian. I didn't equip him right. And I didn't build him up. I'm going to take Vivian. And Cole. 
I was like, I kind of want to take Solus, and then I forgot to equip him with stuff, so I'll, well, I'm not taking Solus. He's going to die quickly. We already got Cole dying all the time. We don't need, uh, you know, Solus dying. All the time. And he will die. All the time, unless he's got some good equipment. Plus, I, I don't... I mean, honestly, you know... I'm not playing any any of the mages right now either, or Cole. Because if I was playing Cole, I'd have all the key bindings right where I wanted them to be, and that way I could I could throw my grappling hook, grab onto something, and pull myself over so I can kick him in the face before a stabby stab 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 stab. Because that's what I do when I play a rogue. I stab. I'm a stabby rogue. Dragon Orange Origins. I'm an archery rogue. But the other Dragon Age games, I'm a stabby stab 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 stab. I knife him in the face, rogue. In the face. In the face. In the face. Stab. I think we're going crazy now. I hope I get some good shots here. It's going in epic slow motion. Epic writing. Normally, this goes faster. Epic Scouts. Up in the storm coast. I do not want to go there too wet. But at least they got plenty of fish. What? They got plenty of fish. That map is not going to hurt anyone ever again. You can tell the music's over. This is going slower than it should. Aww. I wanted the epic Liliana shot. I'm going to have to start that all over again later on. Cause I want that epic. I, I want the epic Liliana with the, 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 the ravens. And everybody marching. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. You said that, close. The battle, cap the battle captain. The red, the red Templars fall beneath, fall beneath our blades, our blades, your worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus, Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Okay, I'm going to close some things because this is getting really, really, really annoying. So, um, where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully this will be enough. Okay. Do only what you must. We need enough people for a celebration when we get back to Skyhold. We will not fail you, my lord, no matter what comes. Now this is one of my <clears throat> Draste guide you, Inquisitor. Morgan. I wonder. Is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? Why are you give me a swelled head there, Morgan? Another way to let people down if I falter. Thank you for the reminder. 
Twas not I who raised an army of faithful <coughs> to storm this land, Inquisitor. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the Illuvian he covets lies within. Um... Look at my face! Morgan! Morgan! Actually, Tyrus! Look at your face! Look at your face! You've got the Valisleen of Mithal on them! Uh, you're an elf! Look at those pointy ears! You should know what a Mithal is! Ah! Okay... We go this way. So much sound effects going on right now. Corypheus's soldiers appear to be on the defensive. Yes, they do. I hope you're right about this temple, Morrigan. I could use a building or two. Do the woods discomfort you? Ooh, Stormheart. It's mostly the people trying to cut our heads off that manage that. Yeah. That, that would do it. I'm not a big fan of getting my head cut off either. I mean, who is? Nobody should be a big fan of getting their head clapped off. Hi, everybody. Can I join this party? No? Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. But that is still really bugging me. Bugging me. Okay, I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to keep that down. I'm going to lower the shadows. I'm going to keep the terrain... I'm going to get rid of some of this small vegetation undergrowth. I'm going to keep the water quality, post processing quality. I'll keep that. And I'm going to turn that down. Okay, audio. Okay. Okay, there we go.
Okay, we're going to wait for the game to close out again, and yeah. But no, the Arbor Wild is actually one of my favorite places in the game. Actually, I'm, I think I'm going to restart. I'm going to restart that so hopefully I can get that cool epic shot I want. But no, this is like one of my favorite spots in the entire game just because it's so beautiful. I mean, honestly, the Arbor Wilds are so bleeding beautiful. Especially compared to outside right now, which is uh, gray and miserable. And I don't want the gray and miserable. I want nice and sunny and warm and arbor wilds, you know? Lots of greens. Lots of greens. And blues and, and birds and... Destruction and explosions and red templars. You know, I want all of that in real world. Unfortunately, we're not getting that. Sorry, I wanted to get a drink. Game is currently reloading. Hopefully. I don't have to worry about so much lag. I did not know why it's lagging so much. I mean, I even restarted my computer recently. So it shouldn't be that. I mean, I hope it, I would hope it wouldn't be that. I mean, honestly, I would hope so. I mean, it could be. I don't know. I mean, what, what, what do I look like? Somebody who knows stuff? No, I don't. Okay, hopefully this, you know, doesn't lag so much when we're actually playing. I'm gonna transfer Vivian stuff to, uh, to Solus. I wanna take Solus with me. I mean, I like Vivian and all. Well... I don't like her as a person. I think if I were to meet Vivian in real life and play the video game character, so that's not going to happen. If I was going to meet Vivian in real life, I would hate her. I really would. I would really dislike her. Now, I don't have any disrespect for her. I just I don't I just don't think I'd like her that much. I really don't. Okay, still kinda laggy. Okay. This stinks, okay. Hmm. Still feels really laggy for some reason. I do not know what's going on. Hmm. You know what? Um. I'm going to take a brief break and try to get some of this lag taken care of. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay. I'm just turning off the um, model right now. I might turn it on later, but um, even using VC Face is having some issues right now. So I'm just turning off the model at the moment. Going to be technical difficulty based one, but it happens. With an Illuvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed. The Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and, and blah, 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 blah. the power of a god. 
Or, and this is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. Well, we can't have that now, can we? In Redcliffe, I saw the future Corypheus built. We can't let that happen. Was no, we can't. So, was it not? The madman would bury us all. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Pretty much. Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers, you'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? Hmm. Complicated decision. For starters, we don't let Corypheus worry us to death. Imagine how embarrassing that would be. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Liliani, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus' army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> Such confidence. But the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. There we go. Please lend us your expertise. At least now I'm still on the screen. That's why I came here. Although it is good to see its value recognized. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? <sighs> well, same ones I gave you last time. We've embarked on a quest that ends in facing the most powerful monster in all Thedas. Do get a good night's sleep. Such an epic speech, isn't it? Wish. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvian. Oh, I didn't give... I didn't give Sola stuff. I was going to give Sola stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna give Solus. Vivian. I'm gonna take Vivian stuff and give it to Solus, and then you get you know, and just swap things around. So let me let me let me do that. Cause I want to take Solus with me. I'll give those back to the Vivian. I'll take the amulet. Okay, let's try this again. Sorry, that's the only image I have of myself right now. I, I should make a backup, but I wanted to have my. That's the only one I had available at the moment. Let's try this again. I want to take Solus with me. Sorry, Vivian. I want to take Solus. <clears throat> I still got the Skyhold safe, so I'm good. Now, it's weird without my model going, but... For some reason, it's like using up all my resources. All of them. Oops, sorry. I, I just want to grab something. I just really don't want to have that lag today. I don't know why it's lagging so much. I mean, Windows did just update. But now you can see they're moving better. Uh, 
epic writing. Epic or leave ins. Epic Blades of Hesarian. Epic Liliana. I love that. I love that image. Epic Scouting. Epic Tenderling. So epic. -ing. I keep looking over to see my mod, expecting to see my model move, and it's not moving. It's weirding me out. Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Oh, that's good. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Do only what you must. We need enough people for a celebration when we get back to Skyhold. We will not fail you, my lord, no matter what comes. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? Another way to let people down if I falter. Thank you for the reminder. Twas not I who raised an army of faithful to storm this land, Inquisitor. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is You know what that is You know what it is You know what that is You have Valisleen of Mythal on your face You know what Mythal is Ugh I gotta level up ki oh Solus Bloody He's just got one point to spend. There. Now we can hear all the epic booms and stuff. If the soldiers aren't careful with their fires, they'll do Corypheus' work for him. I hope you're right about this temple, Morrigan. I could use a building or two. Do the woods discomfort you, Pavos? It's mostly the people trying to cut our heads off that manage that. Got two apostates, a spirit get in human form, and Dorian in the woods. See, I would love to go to woods like this. I would love to be near woods like this, with like, this hollowed out trunk. Oh, I would love to go through this hollowed out trunk. This place is beautiful. And with paths.
Okay, so we got the Orlesians here. I was looking for any more loot. Elf smash! Okay. I don't remember if there's anything over here or not. I know there's stuff. There's other places I can go. Get over here! Hi! Those were great ones. They must be the last of those enslaved at Adamant. A most inglorious end. Still, if these puppet wardens show no mercy, neither can we. Morgan has a point. I hate to say, I hate to admit it, but Morgan does have a point. <gasps> Considering one of her best friends is a warden. I'm saving multiple times here. I'm going to keep the Arbor Wild save separate. You don't get my soldiers. This isn't good. And the divine. Go over here. I mean, I know there's other places I can go to in here. I can get to the second blockade later. It's not like it's gonna... There's actual time limits in this game. Which is good. I just know there's like more camps and stuff. Maybe it's past the second blockade. I just remember there's being camps and stuff I can go to and loot. Yeah, I think it's past the second blockade. Okay. But this is, like I said, this is one of my favorite places. 
It's just so beautiful. And I do appreciate a beautiful area. Must be past the second blockade. And if I don't get those places, I don't get those places. I can always come back by reloading a save. Well, let's say hi. Hi, we're your new neighbors. Hope you don't mind us coming over and visiting. Hi. Honestly, you look like a shem. All elves want you dead. They didn't look Dalish. It seems this temple of Mithal is not deserted after all. Perhaps these creatures are the reason few return from the Arbor Wilds. Possibly. Uh, Captain Lowen, I don't want grumbling in the lower ranks that our Lord Corypheus handpicked Grey Wardens to be part of his honor guard over his Templars. Our charge is not to understand his will, it is only to obey it. Besides, our master is still sore he lost all but a few dozen enslaved Grey Wardens to the Inquisition at Adamant. If, you're so, if your soldiers are smart, they'll keep quiet about it. Okay, so it's down this way. Oh, just had Arbor Blessing. Okay, we made it down here. I think there's a camp that way, too. I'm taking the Silverite because... Oh, finally, some Fate Touch. Fate Touch Silverite's the best Silverite. Hopefully I got the right Fade Touch Silverite. Though I want to get some, um, uh, Fade Touch Navarite. I'll do that when I do the Hissing Wastes. Sis, sis, sis. Walls. Why does it always have to be 
walls. There we go. Okay. Whoever did that fire trap, thank you. That was awesome. There's like multiple places I can go. Multiple places I can go. That aren't quite related to the main quest. It is? Where? Where's the Inquisitor? Where's the Inquisitor? I don't see the Inquisitor anywhere. Okay, it's not the right way. Solus. To all captains of the Red Templars, we are not stopping to deal with these elven fanatics. Press forward, post more guards, and handle the ambushes as they come. Finding the Temple of Mithal is uh, our first and only task. Once I become the vessel, our master can finally claim the power waiting for him. No elves, no city, no nation will be matched for a living god. This is a day we've bled for. The Inquisition and Rolesians are snapping at our heels, and you've sacrificed more than anyone should ask. But if we fall here, the deaths of your brothers and sisters meant nothing, and I won't let that happen. I know none of you will either. For the glory of the Elder One, Samson. And over here. See, I can do some good stuff once in a while. I'll come back for that. There's veil fire here for a reason. And I don't remember. Old elven writing, huh? It's going to be an operation. I wonder when this is going to, this torch is going to go out. Oh, now you're here. Thank you. 
There we go. Hi! I just launched a fucking Red Templar! Sorry about the language. But I launched a fucking behemoth! Sorry about the language. How often do I get to launch a, a bleeding behemoth? I'm trying to cut down on my swearing in my daily life right now. That's one of my New Year's resolutions. Hi! Don't mind me, just grabbing my torch. I'm gonna see how far I can take this thing. Dude, this is one of the places I remembered. Okay, final blockade. I was expect. Oh, there we go. There, it's just a supply cache. Oh, and a chest. Okay. I just wanted to grab everything. What's? Probably an arbor blessing. I think my torch is gone. I'm such a loyal companion. I want to see if I could get it to the Temple of Mithal. Okay, we're almost there. Almost to the final blockade. Look at those pretty birds. That's another reason why this is one of my favorite spots. Those birds, those are beautiful. So, such bright plumage. And I love bright plumage. Ha! 
Hi! Lots of fire here today. Sorry, I got my volume up. My headphones, I'm yelling. Sorry. Cullen? Okay. We're... At the Temple of Mithal. Solus, Solus. And save. Okay. Time to go into the Temple of Mithal. There. That must be the Temple of Mithal. Any chance Corypheus will finally grace us with his presence? But count on it. Be ready. I hear fighting ahead. Time to go through the more PP arches. Yeah, stay down here. Stay, stay there. Namilana Sobanalen. They still think to fight us, Master. He's These are but remnants. They will He's not looking sick. From the well of sorrows. Well of sorrows. Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. Well, that takes care of Corypheus, I guess. Uh, we're done here, right? Right? Right, we're done here. No, we're not done here. I want to be done here. He's not looking well. He's, he looks like he's had better days. Um, that's not normal for Grey Wardens, is it? It cannot be. Across the bridge, now! I'll have to keep him out for a bit. Yeah, Corypheus, uh, just, um... Came out of a Grey Warden. That's not good. You can't kill him. He's like a an arch demon. Can't kill them either. They'll just pop out of the nearest thing with a blight. Usually a dark spawn, but he came out of a Grey Warden. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. Hold on. Corypheus mentioned a Well of Sorrows. I thought he was here for an alluvium. I am uncertain of what he referred to. 
Oh, that's not good. You're not certain. You said you knew what he was looking for. Confidence can carry one only so far, it seems. I suspected. I did not know. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Mm, not really. Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus's people do. So I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. Yes. Are you certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies. That is the real question. Okay, nothing over here. As you wish. Temple of Mathal is also a lovely place. These are lovely ruins. And this was built before the fall of Arlathan. These are ancient elven ruins. This isn't like the Dalish ruins in the Dales. This is ancient elven ruins. It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Ancient Elven. I can't make out much. Atishol via Abalassan. It means enter the path of the Well of Sorrows. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shiven. Shivenen. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. Hell is a start. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Okay, I don't remember exactly what I have to do here. And I will be doing that throughout the entire thing. I see the Red Templars have already encountered the Temple's Guardians. They hurt themselves for years to get stronger, but they still die so easily. Perhaps we shall fare better. As long as the we're Temple respectful. Of Mithal, constructed in an age when elves, not men, dominated this land. Before the Imperium destroyed it. They believed Mithal a goddess of justice. Elves came here to request judgment after they proved their worth. Silence has reigned here for time beyond memory. Sorry, birds. I like you. I really do. A dread wolf. The tale is used Haralen to mean traitor to one's kin, but the word does not appear in any elven text before the Tower's Age. The ancient root word is referred to as Haralen, or opposition, and Helithen, or noble struggle. 
the Dalish call Fenharal, a god of deception. But I posit a far more accurate translation would be a god of rebellion. What he rebelled against is a story lost to time. In Dalish legends, Fenharal seals away the other deities out of love of trickery. If we understood more ancient elven, we might find earlier version of the Treadwolf story give him a more nuanced motivation beyond spite. Why would this be here? Something wrong. It depicts the dread wolf, Van Harel. In elven tales, he tricks their gods into sealing themselves away in the beyond. For all oh, they're coming back. Hi, birdies. Sitting Van Harel in Mathal's greater sanctum is as blasphemous as painting Andraste naked in the Chantry. Some Chantry display statues of Andraste's betrayer Mafareth as part of the chant. It might fulfill a similar function. A reminder of vigilance for the faithful. For all your knowledge, Lady Morrigan, you cannot resist giving legend the weight of history. The wise do not mistake one for the other. Look at all these pretty Pray birdies. Tell, what meaning does our elven expert sense lurking behind this? None we can discern by staring at it. You two look like you're about to kiss when you argue. Tis time we pressed forward. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> there we go. I annoyed both of them at the same time. My day is complete. Oh, come on, as if you can defeat us. We got a veteran of the fifth blight among us. And coal! As if you'll survive against coal. A moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. People are dying outside while we stand here. If we use the tunnel, more of our soldiers can flee. In this case, I must agree with the witch. This is ancient ground, deserving of our respect. You see the urgency? We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. We don't know what's behind those doors. They might have a reason for going another way. No. Had they the option, they would have proceeded. That must lead to their goal. Their goal? Or yours? I know what I'm going to do. There is a danger to the natural order. I've done it the other way once. The way, the, the way I'm not Legends going to do it once. I have jumped down that tunnel... I am not doing that again. Light and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. I wasn't expecting your answer to be so romantic. Trust me. Your surprise is matched only by my own. Mankind blunders through the world. Crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. Yeah, I know. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but... At a terrible price. Well then. 
What sort of curse should we brace ourselves for if we use the well? It would be easier by far to advise you of a curse. This price is not so well Blah. defined. My priority Sorry. is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. I'm going to be doing the rituals. I'm sorry, Cole, but... To me... The rituals... Are the most important. Walking the petitioner's path is what I should do. I just want to see which one this is. Okay, I think I know which one this is. Okay. Now I have done this many times before. I just got to remember which one this is. It looks like it's that one. Okay. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Okay, from here. Companions aren't going to have any effect. I don't I remember that much. And I looked it up to just be on the safe side. Basically, the goal is to light up all the tiles. Without... Crossing over on them. What? I don't think I crossed over on one. Okay, you know what? Okay. That reset for some reason. And I do not know why. Okay. Everybody... Everybody down here, come on. Solus, Cole. Okay, you guys hold position, please. Okay. I'm still not going to jump down the hole.
But I ask you guys to hold position. What did you guys do? Okay. Yes. Let's continue. As you wish. Okay. Try this again. There was a bug I remember reading. Hoping this will get them all... Okay. Hopefully they'll stay there and just hold position. Everybody over here. Everybody over here. Come on, everybody. Over here. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Of course, I can't save the game right now. to proceed to the next ritual, I should think. Why can't I save right now? Okay. Okay, which one is this one? Okay, it is that one. Okay, this one is easy. complete. 
We are close. There is but one more path to follow. Yep, and we're gonna go do it. Hopefully I can avoid a certain bug. I think I'm going to hit the right one. Each elven god represents an aspect of their ancient civilization. Each story is a metaphor for this aspect. Tunes is the least understood. Depictions stretch as back as ancient Arlathan, but he appears most seldom in all of all their deities. Dalish legend says Tlun is a god of craft and building, but the oldest depictions have none of the tools the Dalish associate with him. Tlun's role may have changed over time, or simply cannot be understood today. As the elves fell, ancient inventors spared little thought to preserving, preser, preser, the pre, I'm selling over this word, preserving any Dalish culture not convenient or understood. From a treaty on the pagan and heretical customs of the elven by Senelin Tavernier of the University of Orlais, commissioned by Empress Selene. Okay. Now, this one's the fun one. So my least favorite one. Because I will mess up. This way. Okay, see it near the top. Gotta focus on this thing. Is lit. It wants to say something, but I can't hear it. Come, let us see if the doors have opened. I wonder what it wants to say. I have never brought coal here. I have never brought coal, and now I am very curious.
Felondine. The people swore their lives to Felondine, who mastered the dark that lies, whose shadows hunger, whose faithful sing, whose wings of death surround him thick as night. Let Anavia, Master Scryer, our, be our guide through shapeless worlds and airless skies. Song to Falandine, found in the Temple of Mithal. Who is this meant to be? Arthur Unknown. Falandine, overseer of funerals. I should to know to this. Death. I have heard the Dalish invoke him on their deathbed, or before quests from which they expect no return. My clan's hunters asked for his blessing when we fought bandits. Our keeper taught them the prayers. I do not believe they sing songs about Fallon Din's vanity. Huh? Do you know any legends? It is said Fallon Din's appetite for adulation was so great, he began wars to amass more worshippers. The blood of those who wouldn't bow low filled lakes as wide as oceans. Mithal rallied the gods once the shadow of Falandin's hunger stretched across her own people. It was almost too late. Falandin only surrendered when his brethren bloodied him in his own temple. My clan never told a story like that about Falandin. The further the Dalish spread, the further their stories branch and grow. Okay, I'm... Never mistake them for arbiters of true elven culture. I'm going to take you back to our keeper. You got a lot of stuff to tell her. <laughs> Trying to stay away from that as much as possible. There's like a little bug. I do want to get all the loot I can. I mean, honestly. I need money. I need money by crafting stuff. Andruil. One day, Andruil grew tired of hunting mortal men and beasts. She began stalking the Forgotten Ones, wicked things that thrive in the abyss. Yet even a god should not linger there. And each time she entered the void, Andruil suffered longer and longer periods of madness after returning. Andruil put on armor made of the void, and all forgot her true face. She made weapons of darkness and plagued her lands. She howled things meant to be forgotten, and the other gods became fearful Andruil would hunt them in turn. So Mithal spread rumors of a monstrous creature and took form of a great serpent, waiting for Andruil at the base of a mountain. When Andruil came, Mithal sprang on the hunter. They fought for three days and nights, Andruil slashing deep gouges in the serpent's hide. But Mithal's magic sapped Andruil's strength and stole her knowledge of how to find the void. After this, the great hunter could never make her way back to the abyss, and peace returned. Translated from ancient elven found in the Everwilds, source unverified. What's this? I believe we are in the presence of the elven goddess Andruil, lady of the hunt. Or a goddess of sacrifice, according to some. Truly? I wonder if that is why Andrul's patron animal is the hare. It is said the Dalish invoke her before a chase. Especially if they happen to be stalking humans. Not your clan. My clan avoided human settlements, never mind raiding them. A sound tactic, if one has room to maneuver out of harm's way. Other Dalish clans do not keep so scrupulously hidden. Making sure I'm not missing any of them. Okay. Okay. Back this way, then. Be careful to be as far away from that, because I don't know if that bug's going to happen or not. Uh. 
Okay. And the birds can come and go as they please. Is not what I expected. What was this chamber used for? To create petitioners. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have a grand hall for that kind of thing. We're being watched. Really? I couldn't tell. Venavis. You are unlike the other invaders. You have the features of those who call themselves Elven. You bear the mark of magic, which is familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? They are my enemies, as well as yours. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. I'm sorry. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vera Bella Sun. Actually, I just wish to stop somebody else. He speaks at the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. Solus, perhaps he'll listen to you. What shall I say, Inquisitor? Shall I sway him from a millennia of service by virtue of our shared blood? He clings to all that remains of his world, because he lacks the power to restore it. They're guarding the Temple of Mithal, so I don't, I'm not going to do that one. We did not come here to fight you. Nor to steal from your temple. I totally do not loot from here. I believe you. Trespassers you are, but you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. Thank you. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart. And never return. This is our goal, is it not? There is no reason to fight these sentinels. Can I, can I, can I, um... Sit carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes. Can I make a small campsite at the edge of the wilds, <clears throat> though? Honestly? I accept your offer. You will be guided to those you seek. As for the Vera Bellasan, it shall not be despoiled. Even if I must destroy it myself. No! Morgan! Okay. And I follow you. One stayed behind. Our guide, I suppose. Mytholanast. That's helpful, since Morrigan chased off on her own. She seeks to protect the Well of Sorrows. She turned into a bird. <laughs> Cole, I love you. She knows the secret way. I'm following her. I could get more loot this way, but I do not want to. I can always come back. And, like, do it off, off stream or something. This place looks untouched. Whenever the people wronged one another, they would not call on... Elgernan to avenge them, for his fury would destroy all it touched. Mithal saw this bring strife among the people, and went to Elgernan, and she offered to deliver justice when the people warred amongst themselves. Elgernan saw her wisdom and agreed, binding all to abide by her verdicts. Some petitioning Mithal for justice hid jealousy, accusing those who had done them no wrong. She saw their lies and struck them down. Others petitioning Mithal for justice burned with wrath for imagined slights. She saw their weak hearts and struck them down. Those coming to her with clear minds and open hearts were granted judgment and protection, and Mithal harried their enemies until the end of their days. Story of the Elven God Mithal, 
our author unknown. I am going to do those. I, I want the codexes. The loot, I'm not going to worry about. Gilanane kept herself apart from the people. She used her power to create animals none had ever seen. The skies teemed with her monsters, the land with her beasts. Andrewell hunted them all, and a year after a year of killing, approached Gilanin with an offer. The gods would share their power with Gilanin, but only if she destroyed her creations, for they were too untamed to remain among the people. Gilanin agreed and asked for three days to undo what she had made. On the first day, she struck down the monsters there, except those she presented to Andrewell as a gift. On the second, she drowned the giants of the sea, except those in deep waters, for they were too well wrought, and pride stopped her hand. On the third day, she killed the beasts of the land, except Hala, whose grace she loved above all else. This is how Gilanon was made youngest of the gods. Dirthamen. Dirthamen and Falandine are linked in Dalish legend as inseparable twin brothers. Scraps of elven stories from after the fall of Arlathan, transcribed into the Venturn recently lent to our fair university, refer to them as twin souls, paternal family connection. The, young, the oldest stories never even name them directly, referring to Falandine as Dirthamen's shadow and Dirthamen as Falandine's reflection. The little we understand implies their bond was not romantic, beyond even the strongest friendship. The legends of Dirthamen and Falandine may have been an allegory for complex elven relationships we lack context to comprehend. They were buddies. Best buddies. Okay, I'm not seeing any. I, I just want the codexes. Would prefer that we remain close. Just a quick look around. Take this back to my clan. The knowledge. Silas. Silas, whose heart rivals Elganin's light. Silas, whose temples rival Mithal cities. Silas, whose breath rivals Andruil's spear. Silas, whose skills rivals Lune's craft. Silas, whose fire cannot be quenched. We give ourselves gladly to your service. Song to Silas, found in the Temple of Mithal. Normal author. A.K.A. the one known as Unknown. Sentinels are holding off the Red Templars. They're dying faster than they wanted to. Vier sumiel. This way, I guess. You know, Cole sometimes reminds me of Vorlon. And I don't mean that in any disrespect, Cole. But sometimes you say stuff that's just confusing. And that could mean two things. You know, the dying faster than they thought or they they wanted could refer to both uh, the Guardians and the Templars. Thank you. Oh, Lou. 
You're actually letting me loot. Hi. Very beautiful place you have, though. I mean, honestly. I wish I could have seen this in its prime. Okay. The Well of Sorrow. So Mithal endures. It's loud and so cold. How has such magic lasted? Ancient Elven. More powerful than you can imagine. Fight on! An army of these bastards won't stop us! Or will you get to the well, General? Tell me you brought some damn rope! Tough bastards. A day's march, hours of fighting, and still fierce as dragons. The Chantry never knew what it was throwing away. Samson, sir, watch out! Inquisitor, you and those elf things don't know when to stop. No, we don't. You've hunted us half across we the We elf things don't. I should have guessed you'd follow us into this hole. I spoke with your tranquil. Maddox, he sacrificed himself for your cause. I told him not to. He died as one of us then, one of the faithful. If you can call that faithful. Arithius chose me twice, first as his general, now as the vessel for the Well of Sorrows. You know what's inside the well? Wisdom. The kind of wisdom that can scour a world. I give it to Corypheus. That he can walk into the Fade without your precious anchor. Once Corypheus is that powerful, you and your soldiers will just slow him down. You dare say that yeah. in my face? After you butchered my men. Who were attacked us. You're no match for Corypheus. Even if you drink from the well, you'll never master its wisdom as he could. This is the strength that Chantry tried to bind. But it's a new world now, with a new god. So, Inquisitor, how will this go? Power's all well and good, until it's taken away. What did you do? What did you do? My armor is gone. Delirium! I need it! Kill them all! Oh, really? L smash! L smash again! I'll show you, bastards! There we are! L smash!
We got potions, Cole. Use them. No. I can do that spinny thing too. L smash. to go yet we can take him back to skyhold for judgment more again you heard his parting words inquisitor the elf seeks to destroy the well of sorrows so the sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. Corypheus needed Samson to use the well. Without him, there's no vessel to claim it. The moment we leave, he will send more forces to secure this place. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. This can't be easy, holding on to what's left. You cannot imagine. Each time we awaken, it slips further from our grasp. There are other places, friend, other duties. Your people yet linger. Elven such as you, Yes, such as I. You have shown respect to Mithal, and there is a righteousness in you I cannot deny. Is that your desire? To partake of the Vera Belasan as best you can? To fight your enemy? If you'll allow it. Not without your permission. One does not obtain permission. One obtains the right. I'll look up a translation soon. The Vera Belisan may be too much for a mortal to comprehend. Brave it if you must. But know you this. You shall be bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to a goddess who no longer exists, if she ever did. Bound as we are bound. The choice is yours. Is it possible this Mithal might still exist? Anything is possible. Elven legend states that Mithal was tricked by Fen Harel and banished to the beyond. Elven legend is wrong. The Dread Wolf had nothing to do with her murder. Murder? I, I said nothing of. She was slain, if a god truly can be, betrayed by those who destroyed this temple. Yet the Virabella San remains. As do we. 
That is something. Are you leaving the temple? Our duty ends. Why remain? There is a place for you, Letheline, if you seek it. Perhaps there are places the Shemlin have not touched. The Imperium went to great lengths to expunge elven history. You might be the last to know the truth. Would the elves of your lands listen to the truth? Probably not. They might. Would it hurt to try? It very well may, Shemlin. Yes. It may be that only Uthenera awaits us. The blissful sleep of eternity never to awaken, if fate is kind. Thank you for this gift, Abelas. Do not thank me yet, Shemlin. Malas amali nahalam, Abelas. There's a translation out there. I will find it. I'll find it after the quest is over and I can um, turn on a model again. His name, Abelas, means sorrow. I said, I hope he finds a new name. You'll note the intact Illuvian. I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Griffius use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Illuvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Illuvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Seems like that should be a concern. Knowledge begets a hunger for more. Okay. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. So am I. Also the best suit I have reasons. Knowledge in your service. Or more likely to your own ends. What would you know of my ends, elf? You are a glutton drooling at the sight of a feast. You cannot be trusted. Well, time to ask of everybody's opinions. Present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. What about Solus? You alone. This is my heritage. And look at my face. I have studied the oldest lore. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Can you honestly tell me there is anyone better suited? Too bad I can ask Cole. What about you, Solus? No. Do not ask me again. What about you, Dorian? A human from Tevinta scoops up the last bits of elven knowledge? I know why you ask. I know it's important, but... I can't be that man. <sighs> if Morgan drinks it... Some cool stuff happens to her. And some bad stuff happens to her. If I drink it... Then some really cool stuff... Happens to me in the last DLC in Trespasser. That's kind of neat. I don't know who's better suited, and neither do you. I have the best chance of making use of the well. For everyone. Let me drink. You're not concerned about the price. Bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to the will of a dead god? It seems an empty warning. Perhaps a compulsion yet remains. Who can say otherwise? I do not fear it, even so. I hate to say it, but Abelos's plan to destroy the well may be the best one. What happens when Corypheus comes for you again? He is immortal. The wisdom of the well may include a way to destroy him. Give me this and I fight at your side. I shall be your sword. Thoughts? She is right about only one thing. We should take the power which lies in that well. So many voices. They would be in your head, talking over you. You don't want them. I don't want to risk losing you to a well. Enough deliberation. 
Give me your decision. I mean, if I do this, I will understand some ancient elven and trespasser. But if I do this... Oh. Morgan will be forever bound to the will of Mithal. If I do it, I get to understand some ancient elven. Oh boy. Um, I'm going to the wiki for a second. I want to click on the approvals here. <sighs> okay. I allowed with the Sentinels because... I always feel better doing that because I always play elves. I've done it once the other way, but, um, that. Okay. Solus will be kind of, will only disapprove. Dorian will slightly disapprove. <clears throat> well, he'll completely disapprove if that, but he won't greatly disapprove. Cole doesn't have any disapproval. Sarah greatly disapproves, but I'm going to, um, <clears throat> no offense, Morgan, but <clears throat> because I played your um, friend, the Grey Warden, you do not deserve this face. I'm sorry. Looking at it, listening to it. That's not just knowledge from the ancient elven priests. It's their will. How would you know such a thing? That's I what read. Abelos was telling us. The collective will of the priests puts anyone who drinks under a compulsion, a gas. Can't you feel it? That would match the legends, but it does not tell us what the gas entails. I would still use the well, but you are right. We must be cautious. I'm not risking you to this. I'll risk it. I am the hero of the story, after all. If anyone is to use the well, it will be me. So you will take what little knowledge you can understand and let the rest go to waste? Yeah, I know Dorian. I know Sarah. Who's to say it will go to waste? I do. You want to fight me on this? Perhaps it is better this way. It is. Trust me. Do as you will with the Well of Sorrows, Inquisitor. But be careful. Trust me. Trust me. This will be better for you if I do it. A lot better for you. I know it'll happen. This 
Fayumo Carnavarum. If you don't come through this, I swear I'll kill you. Not dead. Well, that's a relief. So, good? Bad? I'm dying to know. Quite a headache. Through the looking glass. Ow, that's got to hurt. There's another quest I'm going to have to do before we... um. Do other stuff. Once again, I apologize for not having a model up, but um, it was liking the game way too much. And I'm almost done. It is done. There we go. I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. No. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. He won't hide. You hear it. The well speaks to you. It's voices whispering from so far away I can barely hear them. Which is good. The only one who understood such voices had used the well's power Tr instead. Trust me, you wouldn't then want this. Then we'd have to rely on her interpretation of them and whatever she chose to tell us. Have I not been forthcoming enough for you, Spy Master? I told you what the well could have done, Inquisitor. You should be hearing shouts from the heavens, not whispers. Then help me. Isn't that what you came here to do? Earlier you said you knew what needed to be done next. What did you mean? The dragon is not an archdemon. It's a dragon in which Corypheus has invested part of his power. Kill it, and his ability to jump to other bodies is disrupted for a time. He can be killed. That's no simple task. Corypheus alone is powerful, but where there's dragon... There is a way, but I'll need Morrigan's help. The voices from the well tell you that, do they? Yes. Very well, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready to begin this plan of yours. Okay. So, I'm going to open up my browser. Are you certain of this? <laughs> I don't think certain is the right word. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. Yeah, we'll need them. Okay, give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna I'll look up what um, Solus to told Abelas in a second.
Okay. Letters are pouring in from all corners. Congratulations, pledges of loyalty, conversions to Andraste. All premature until we deal with Corypheus. Okay, bring him in. That looks like a good Cullen one. I'm gonna go with Liliana, though. Inquisitor. Because of secrets. Okay. Sorry, I'm turning um one of my uh captures on here for a sec. Cause I want my face on for a little bit. So it's gonna take a second for the scene to open completely. So give it a couple of minutes here. Okay, hopefully everything's working. You know what, I'm gonna... Oh good, everything's working. Okay, I was about to put some tape on my camera. It looks like everything's working right now. Whoops. It's not quite set up properly yet, but, um... Okay, let's try this. Okay. I'm back for now. So... What Samp or what uh, Solus said to Abalas. Let's look that up. I know there was a translation. I've read a translation before. Okay. So, Maha Malas Amalin Nehalam Abalas. Um, do, do, do. There's a lot of whole things here, so. Final translation. Um, the best that um, this person got, it's on a Tumblr. Um, your name is slash will be slash was finished. Or your name is slash will be slash was and ed ended or ending. So best way, you know, that person said was basically your duty is finished. That's the closest that I, I saw. Okay. Be a little bit laggy here. I'm going to load some stuff up into a chest.
I'm going to save a new Skyhold save here so I can go back to the Arbor Wilds if I want to. I'm going to throw stuff into the trunk. And then we'll do other stuff. Oh, it's nice being back. I can see myself. Ah, it's nice. I'm just going to store everything right now. I'm not getting anything else right now, but I can say I do want to do this, you know, maybe I could get a drink. I also want to talk to Solus and Sarah and Dorian. Sorry, I needed a drink. Okay. So I'm going to go to Solus, Dorian, and then Sarah. I need my bestie. On my side, and I need my Dorian on my side. There you are, Solus. I know you disapproved of that. Why did you do it? I warned you not to. Solus. You gave yourself into the service of an ancient elven god! What does that mean, exactly? You are Mithal's creature now. Look at my face, Solus. Whether you know it or not, we'll be Solus, look at these Valisleen. They're, they're, they're all over you know, the Inquisitor's face, and they're, they're under my eyes. Okay? I am Mithal's creature. I am Mithal's creature. I do want to keep his approval up, though, because I, I don't know if I can still get his personal quest or not. But I hope... I really, really hope. Um, I want to see what's on my other devices. Um, okay. Not here. Okay. Well, I can do this here. I'll do it on my phone. That way, I don't have to do this. I want to. I want to get his approval up here. I want to keep his approval. Okay. I know Solus is upset by this. Okay. Um Solus's approval. Usually I'm his be like his best buddy by now, but right now I'm not. Okay. What 
Do, do, do. After what pride had wrought. Doesn't that repeat there? Okay, the answer I would have gone with is the one that gives us some approval. You don't even believe in the ancient elven gods. I don't believe they were gods, no, but, but I believe that they existed. Something existed to start the legends. If not gods, then mages. Or spirits. Or something we've never seen. And you are bound to one of them now. I suppose it is better you have the power than Corypheus. Which leads to the next logical question. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? Okay. No. Okay, I'm going to do that one. Which is kind of what he wants to do, because I can see him wanting to take this knowledge to his keeper. I mean, this is ancient elven knowledge. He wants to take it back home with him. I'll use whatever power I have to undo the chaos that Corypheus and his allies have caused. You would put things back the way they were before? Yes. I mean, not exactly. I know what you mean. Thank you. For instance, I'll take the Dales back for the elves. You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have impressed me. You honor the past and work to recover what was lost, even if the cost is high. I respect that. And I am indebted to you for the reminder. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve No, it did not. The orb he carries, and its stolen power, that at least we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. Hopefully. Okay, there's no approval changes. Thank you, Solus. We couldn't have done this without you. You are welcome. I'm just going to see where Solus is going. And find the stairs. Okay, he's not sitting down. I mean, maybe when I come back next week, he'll be sitting down. But he ain't right now. Dorian, I know you disapproved of this. What happened at the Elven Temple? It's got me thinking. I should go back, shouldn't I? It's oh. Once Her this is done. One of Eric's books. Not anytime soon, I hope. Talk about how terribly wrong things are back home. But what do I do about it? Nothing. How does this relate to the Elven Temple? It was history right there, staring us in the face. Maybe my people can atone for what we've done. There is something still left to restore. Maybe not all of us want to, but that could be altered. If you can change minds, so can I. You would just leave. What about us? Trust me, Amethyst. It would give me no pleasure to leave your side. Oh, that's good. You make monumental decisions affecting the entire world. How can I not consider some of my own? Why don't I go with you? Take you away from all this? I can't ask that of you. You don't have to ask. I'm offering. Tempting. We both know you would end up doing it all yourself. 
Probably. As much as watching my homeland beaten into submission would amuse me, this is something I need to do. If that's what you have to do, I understand. There you go. Breaking my heart. This is your fault, remember? You inspired me with your marvelous antics. You're shaping the world, for good or ill. How could I aspire to do any less? If it means proving that Devinta can be better, that there's hope even for my homeland, I would do anything. As long as he's not leaving right now. I need him on my team. He's part of Team Elf. Okay, I need to go talk to Sarah. I'll come back to you later. Ow. I wonder if there's a mod for that armor. I want that armor. I know there's like a you, there's plans for it from ages. If I made it out of Dale Slade and wool, maybe I could wear it. I mean, honestly. Yes. Most of the charges are still at the Temple of Mithal. I missed a crazy fine. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the charges? Most of our people were at the Temple of Mithal. I've still got a few, though. Men who were recovering from wounds. I can send them around to rattle swords, wave flags, and look a lot larger than they are. It'll mess with enemy estimates of our numbers, and so no one thinks Skyhold is undermanned. We'll talk later. Okay, I want to do... One more quest, though, before I, um end for the night. I'm just noticing the time. Sarah? I need my bestie. You're my bestie. Oh, hi, yeah. Listen, stand there. Right there. Now, about Mithal. Sarah, I don't know what reaction you want, but can this be it so we can be done? All right. So maybe it's still you. Someone needed to do something. I mean, you went wading into a well of sorrows. Who hears that and thinks, well, Dunker but butt, let's have a go. I mean, that whole place. Clearly demon bait. Top to bottom. It makes messing with their relics real stupid. So, test done. You're still you. We can leave these lies behind. I was aiming an arrow at my face a test. I heard once that if you're possessed, the demon will defend itself against attack. Sounds stupid to say it out loud. I don't know. I don't know demons. At least, if it's true, the arrow's right there. I'm sorry, yeah. Morrigan's probably got better ways, but who can trust her? So your main takeaway is that elves worship demons? Well, they never call them that, yeah. But that's what it had to be. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods. Hey! So I like living in the there woods. There can't be a bunch of gods. I like living the in the woods. Don't matter how much or little you believe, those don't fit. So call me stupid, but I believe the stuff not made up by dead people who failed. Mithal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? I think he would say this. This is his best and he wants his bestie back. 
and she is his bestie. So, he's just going to try to calm her down so maybe he doesn't get more arrows to the face from his bestie. I'm with you. Everything in that temple was highly suspect. Especially the Templars. Of course it was. You can't be Herald and think otherwise, yeah? I mean, that would just be daft. So, main takeaway, we got really weird power and we can throw it at Carifi whatever. Fighting shite with shite. It's like poetry or something, I don't know. Get a bard on that. We should go slap hands in the tavern. I'll talk to everybody else next week. I just want to do this one last quest. <gasps> then I'll talk to everybody next week. Normally I'm like planting all the time. I just haven't play planted on this save. I saw some we're gonna choose over here. She should be in the garden. Okay, so at the Alluvion. Something at the Alluvion. Or the Alluvion. Inquisitor, thank the Maker you're here. Morrigan chased after her son into the Alluvion. She was terrified. She was chasing Kieran. She said he activated the mirror somehow, and then she ran into it. I've never seen Morrigan like that. You must go after her. I will find help, Inquisitor. Well, time to go into the through back to the crossroads. This is the one I wanted to do. I just hope it doesn't bug out as much as it was last time. Because I don't want to have to turn my model back off and go back to that picture. I like my model on. I like my model. But I should make pictures of uh, myself for moments like this, I think. Okay. Almost. It's like so close to my normal stop time. Cause I, I do try to give myself just three hours because doing those long streams is so tiring. Wait. This isn't the crossroads. This is the fade. How did the Illuvian lead here? Can it go anywhere? And we came through an Illuvian in the fade. I do not like being in here. Morrigan! 
go back. I must find Kieran before it's too late. Why would Kieran kill this? How could he do this? We stand in the Fade. To direct the Illuvian here would require immense power. If he is lost to me now, after all I have sacrificed... We'll find him, Morrigan. He can't be far. The Fade is infinite. He could literally be anywhere. Whatever happens to him now, it is my, do my doing. I set him on this path. Please, help me look, Inquisitor. Just a little longer. We'll find him. We won't leave, him, leave the Fade without your child. He's a good kid. And I know that because I know his father. I mean, the whole bloody world knows who his father is. Or of his father. He's not there. I'm not sitting down there eating that skull. I'm guessing he's where the quest marker goes. I mean, honestly, that's, that's where I'd put him. I still do not like the red larium in the fade. That's way too damn dangerous. Watch, Kryphius is the bad guy in Treadwolf. There's a reason why I'm saying that. That'll be clear when I get to the end. When I get to the end of the game. There he is. There he is! Who's with him? That's... No. It can't be. Mother. Mother? Now, isn't this a surprise? So this is all some kind of family reunion. <laughs> Mother, daughter, grandson. It rather warms the heart, does it not? Kieran is not your grandson. Let him go. As if I were holding the boy hostage. She's always been ungrateful, you see. Ungrateful! I know how you plan to extend your life, wicked crone. You will not have me, and you will not have my son. Oh, be a good lad and restrain her. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. I think it would have been better if his Velocine glue you know. glowed. You drank from the well, did you not? <gasps> you. Armthal. Well. See, this is why I did not want her drinking from the well. She would be bound to Flemeth, her mother, whom she despises. That would not be good. Not at all. You are. 
very nice to finally meet you. You see, girl, those are manners, as you require a demonstration. I said, Bella, no. Nothing from you but your death. You tried that once already, and see how far it got you. I'm sorry, mother. God, she's so tall. She said now was the time. I do not understand. Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mythol through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mythol inside you? Yes. She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. What do the voices tell you? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mythal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? A powerful mage. That's what she was. She was a powerful mage. So young powerful mage. Vibrant. You do the people proud and have come far. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. Ashabel, hello, Ashabel and I. Actually, that is my concern now. So must I serve you now because I drank from the well? Is that how you see yourself? A servant? I have no commands for you. Not yet. Then what is it you want? One thing, and one thing only. I have to go now, Mother. No. I will not allow it. He carries a piece of what once was. Snatched from the jaws of darkness. The soul of an old god. An old winter god. He is not your pawn, mother. I will not let you use him. Have you not used him? Was that not your purpose? The reason you agreed to his creation? That was then. Now he... He is my son. Flemeth extends her life by possessing the bodies of her daughters, Inquisitor. That was the fate she intended for me. I thwarted her, and now she intends to have Kieran instead. Wait, the way she talked about Kieran. I am not the only one carrying the soul of a being long thought lost. He is more than that, Mother. As am I. Yet do you hear me complain? Our destinies are not so easily avoided, dear girl. Mama, I have to. You do not belong to her, Kieran. Neither of us do. Whatever else you think he is, Kieran is still a child. And so much better behaved than his mother was at his age. Because she was, she, she was shown love. Love and caring. As you wish. Hear my proposal, dear girl. Let me take the land, and you are free of me forever. I will never interfere with or harm you again. Or keep the lad with you, and you will never be safe from me. I will have my due. He returns with me. Decided so quickly. Do whatever you wish. Take over my body now if you must, but Kieran will be free of your clutches. I am many things, but I will not be the mother you were to me.
I really hope she returns to her red wolf. I love Flemeth. No more dream. No more dreams. A soul is not forced upon me unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. As for you, Inquisitor, there is an ancient altar deep within a shaded wood. Go to it. Summon the dragon that is its guardian. Master it in combat, and it is yours to command against Corypheus. Fail and die. Wait! I really hope Flemeth is somehow in the Dreadwolf. Because I will miss Kate Mulgrew's voice if she isn't. She's been in all the games. I want Kate Mulgrew's voice in that game. I want Captain Janeway's voice in the game. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Captain Janeway, happy Threshold Day. That's the episode where, uh, in Voyager, where Tom Paris turns into a giant lizard. Kidnaps Captain Janeway. Turns her into a giant lizard. And they have babies together. It's a very bad episode, so happy Threshold Day. I'm just waiting. So I can save. But I want to get the reveal out of the way. The big reveal that Flemeth is Mythal. That's why I thought it'd be really cool if his Valaseline glowed when she took control. Blood writing. I mean, he's already Mithal's. I mean, honestly, look at him. I'm just going to wait for the game to finish loading. Are you all right, Kieran? You are not hurt. I feel lonely. But you still have your mother. She wanted the old god soul all along. Yep. Is it worth reminding myself that perhaps I do not know everything after all? Yep. My mother has the soul of an elven goddess. Or whatever Mithal truly was. And her plans are unknown to me. So Kieran had the soul of an old god. Taken from the archdemon at the final battle of the fifth blight. Yes, he has never known anything else. I'm uncertain what effect this will have on him. But why did you... I told you at the temple, the magic of old must be preserved, no matter how feared. Kieran had a destiny, and now it is in Flemeth's hands. I suppose we shall see what she does with it. I must admit, I still can't quite believe what happened. Going to the fade. As if something from ancient Meet the goddess you're sworn to. Yeah. Hand into our Skeletal. Of Skeletal. The same could be said of Corypheus. Skeletal. 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 No, oh, that's not a word. Honestly, Skeletal. Summon a dragon at an ancient altar. Do you know where that is? I think so. It's a place dedicated to Mithar. As no doubt is the guardian you must battle. Yep. Pray my mother has not led you astray, Inquisitor. She is not above doing so for her own amusement. But that is why. That is why she is not...
she is, did not. That's why I did not let her drink from the well. So I think that will be it for the night. After those weird starts and the fact that I had to have my model off for like most of the most of the stream because of um, technical issues. And I'll just leave it at that. Very, very technical issues. A.K.A. my computer being slow right now. I do not know what's going on. Bah! But we did it. Next time I play, I'm going to do the Jaws of Hack on DLC. Yes, I'm, I'm going to skip right ahead to the Jaws of Hack on. Because I don't want to end the game just yet. And I want to do the Jaws of Hack on. So I'm going to do that. And Judge Samson, of course. And um, I'll be back on Thursday with some Sims at, at 4 p.m. On, on, on the Vstream channel here. So, yeah. Um, until then, see you on the flip side. Bye. Bye.